Here come the heavyweights, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a European Muay Thai champion. His last appearance inside the glory ring came six years ago. As a professional, 65 wins with 26 losses. One of those bouts scored even, and 25 career knockouts. At six feet, six inches tall, 1.97 meters. He weighed in at fight time at 221.3 pounds, 100.4 kilos. Fighting tonight in his hometown of Paris, France, here is Abdermani Koulibaly. His opponent, fighting from the white corner. His career highlights include a heavyweight tournament win over Antonio Plaza by the Glory 66. His record stands at 27 wins, 15 losses, 12 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet two inches tall, 1.88 meters, and he weighed in at 235.7 pounds, 106.9 kilos. Fighting out of Algeria, and currently ranked number four in the Glory World Rankings, here is Nardine Gaber Mahadi. And your referee in charge of this bout is Jan Frana. Chickens. Okay, good luck. Listen to my comments, follow the rules. Go back to the corners. Judges. This should be a good one, Joe. We're going to see our first knockout of the night. Time. Oh, you're calling it? I'm asking first you. Round. <laughs> Fight. Are we going to see it? it? Make it a rhetorical question. That's fine, Joe. All right. Three three-minute rounds, heavyweight division. Nordin Mahadeen in the white gloves. Kula Bali in the black. And Joe, the big, big ask from the corner of Mahadeen is to be nasty. Don't be the nice guy. Let it go. Yeah, get inside. Get so, do some work. Time. Hit the body. Go upstairs. Okay. One more but getting inside on Kula Bali is okay. tough. Time. Fight. Mehadeen was hoping to be a part of that Grand Prix tournament at the end of the year. Missed his chance to qualify, but they landed a nice right hand there. Maybe he'll get another opportunity if he can win here. Yeah, I think Mahadeen, being more active in the last few years, really needs to put this pressure on. Yeah, nice angling. Good combination. Level change for Mahadeen. Stop! Stop! Kulabal refusing to release the head. Fight. Yeah, Kulabali's got great knees, especially through the clinch. And in Mahadeen's last fight with Micheletti, he got caught with a knee and got dropped with it. So I know Kulabali's going to be hunting for them. Oh, big uppercut. Quick, fast hands from Nordin Mahadeen. He's not the biggest, strongest guy, Joe, but Boy, he's got those lightning quick reflexes. Oh yeah, he's he's a small heavyweight, but he brings that speed, that movement, the Stop. angles, the level changes. Stop. No hunting. That's hey. how Andy Ruiz beat Anthony Joshua, became heavyweight champion. Remember, he a yeah. short, fat guy, but he had that that speed that was just a blur. Ooh. That right hand was right behind the ear, and you could see a Kulabali stumbled a little bit. Kulabali, 38 years old. Time is ticking on his career. Oh, he just ate a left hook. Mahadeen's hands looking quicker than ever. He does seem to have more of a sense of urgency tonight. Oh, he caught him again flush. That jab's working. Ate a straight right hand that time from Kulabali. Even Nordin, you see, he's relaxed in there. The way he's fainting before he throws his hands, his boxing has improved. Mehadeen, look at the accuracy, Joe. You don't see that. 55% in the heavyweight division. Yeah, it's because he's hitting the body well. He's landing well to the body. He's not just head hunting off the guard, but this is where Kulabali's dangerous, where he can shell you up and knee you. A 
Again, targeting the legs was Koulibaly, who nearly dropped his mouthpiece, and that'll do it for round one. They call him the bear for a couple of reasons, Joe. One is because he's so shy and unassuming, but once you corner the bear, the bear strikes back. And he also said my dad called me that when I was a kid because my face looked like a bear with my big cheeks. The, what type of bear? The grizzly. I think a black bear. Black, black bear. That's what black bear. All right, Koulibaly, born and raised in France. Signature strike, his powerful front leg. Got used left kicks. I think his knees are one of his best weapons. He's got wins over some glory veterans. Zenedine Hammer Lane, Freddy Camayo. Old school glory guys. I mean, you see how fast Nordine's hands hitting the body, coming back upstairs, picking his shots. He's just not hitting the guard. He's working around Kugelbali's guard. That's why his, you know, land percentage is so high. Second out. Hey. Nordin Mehadin said he's got to take this sport more seriously. I, I can't afford to lose fights that I should be winning. I got a family to feed, and he fought like it in round one. Yeah, that's kind of what coach was saying to him. He's like, you got to fight more for your family. Get in there, get nasty. He just ate a right hand, though. Kulabali woke up this round. Yeah, he did. You're not going to be able to keep up with the pace of Mahadeen, but you can sure hit him harder. And that's what Kulabali's trying to do. Yeah, and he's landing better low kick timing. He's waiting till, you know, Nordin backs up a bit after his punches. You don't want to kick while he's loading up the punch. You want to wait till he's done. And I mean, Kulabali's got to put some of these straight punches out. He's got that reach advantage. What do you think about Me oh, Mahadeen? That caught him off guard. Mahadeen ducking down. You've got to be careful. This isn't boxing. You could eat yeah. a huge knee. With these types of knees that Kulabali has, hell yeah. Is Nordin slowing down now? Took a deep breath. Is Nordin slowing or Kulabali just picking it up? This is a good round for the 38 year old. Whoa. He's got Mahadeen backed against the ropes. The bear is cornered. Let's see if he comes out ferocious. Good heavyweight scrap so far. Stop! Time! The way Kulabali came out in the second round, great. It's the second time. No more. Next time, we no And I think Mahadeen is appreciative of this reprieve. Yeah. Tell me, okay? You mentioned the momentum swing. Look at the numbers. Yeah, totally swap. Time. Fight. Here we go. Minute and a half to go in round two. Yeah, Kulabali maybe just needed that first round to remember what it was like to be at the highest level. Now he's comfortable again, a veteran of a lot of fights. There's a nice flurry. The combinations, that's where he excels. Yeah, when he rips the body, too. Kulabali was honest. He's like, this fight's about determination. And who wants it more? He, oh, that straight right hand scores from Mahadeen. Yeah, had a nice little small arc on it. Beautiful shot from Mahadeen. Kulabali thought he was done with the sport, but he's been training fighters and going to their fights and he got the itch again and he said it depends really on what happens tonight to see if I stay in the game. It's a good round for him. Yeah, this second round is making it good for him. Ooh, nice uppercut there from Mahadi. Ooh, yeah, there's that dip in the head. The knee was almost cracking at this time. but dipping his head yeah, again. He is, Joe. He's really going low. Stop. So that should be a Koulibaly round, you would yeah. think, which yeah, would make think. it one to one. Yeah, which makes it even better of a matchup.
Koulibaly with a better round. Mahadeen still trying to use his combinations. You see Koulibaly using his front kick to the body. A lot more pressure, more volume, but ate a right hand here. Mahadeen still had his moments. That was probably the best shot for Mahadeen in that round. Koulibaly really digging for those knees. Stay up. Game, Mosgar. Mosgar. Third round. Fight! Here we go. They hug it out at the beginning of the third round, Joe. It all yeah. comes down to this. Hug it out before you scrap it out. Let's go. Three of the judges gave that to Mahadeen. Good for him, but yeah. Koulibaly's not going to like that scorecard. No. He's going to have to continue what he did in that second. Wow. Did he give it all he had, though? Is he, is he used goods at this point? Yeah, Mahadeen a little bit more pep in his step coming out in this third round, the way he's bouncing in and out. Sliding out. Look at this. Oh, caught him with the overhand right. Boy, those are thudding body shots. Makula Bali, he may win or lose, Joe. He's still got plenty of left in the tank, oh, I yeah. think, to I, continue his career. Absolutely. I mean, look at the fight he's got. He's still coming forward, yeah. still pressuring. Stop. Great Step second back. round, fighting hard Step in back. this third. And this is, an, hey. is not an easy style matchup for someone like Kula Bali. No. He's coming in after a, how many years off? And we haven't seen him since 2017 here in glory. Number four ranked he's coming in and fighting. So it's very great performance. And I'm going to say he's a young 38 like myself. So he's young. You keep saying older, but I'm saying younger. Well, he may be shrinking away here a little bit. Mouth is open. Deep breaths. A minute and 15 seconds to go here from Paris. Nordin Mehadin called this a must win. And it looks like he's going to get it if he can continue this. That Koulibaly now fighting off the back foot. But still coming forward when he has the chance. As soon as Mahadin slows down, Koulibaly starts pressuring forward. They almost fight in moments. One guy attacks for like 10 seconds, the other one comes. Oh! oh and kick, knockout, lights out in Paris! Ooh la la! Kula Pauly's out, what a shot from Mahadeen! Oh my gosh! What a shot from Mahadeen! They wanted him to be mean, Joe, and that's as mean as you can get. And now our focus turns to Koulibaly, who's still flat on his back. Yeah, I mean, even Mahadeen's worried for him. Man, that was just perfect timing. You see the combination just push off, sitting with the hands, and boom, off that exit. Mahadeen finds that head kick, one of the best strikes you can land, exit head kicks. He finds the range, push off, and that right kick just came over. You see the right hand, boom! What a shot from Mahadeen. I mean, he didn't throw any head kicks. That's why it's so perfect to throw it in that last round. And you see he threw that right hand to the right head kick. An offbeat combination. But beautiful sportsmanship from Nordin Mahadeen. You can see the concern that Nordine has. We've talked about him being such a nice guy, and Joe, he's proven it here. He seems more upset about this knockout than Koulibaly. Yeah, I mean, they fought six years ago. I mean, they have a relationship with each other. So this is where you see the sport and how much, you know, you can love it and how much we love each other in it. Man. We were just saying how Koulibaly should come back win or lose, but after a devastating knockout like that, at the age of 38.
do you try it again? I mean, it depends how his recovery is, but yeah, I mean, after that, you want to be careful, especially after a long career like he had. I mean, brain safety should be number one priority with anybody. Whether you're 22 or 38, protect your head, fighters. Let's look at the highlights again, Joe. Take us through it. I mean, just a good fight. Mahadeen really starting off with fantastic pressure and great combinations like he's known for. That first round, I see the way his hands have been involving, the way he's hitting the body going upstairs. But Kulabali always there, had a chance trying to use his knees versus the pressure, trying to chop away the legs. Then the second round was the best round for Kulabali. He just started getting a little bit more aggressive, started pressing forward, started finding good combinations. And like he said itself, all determination. And whoever's the more determined one's gonna win. And the third round, Mahadeen had more pep in his step, the way he was bouncing in and out, using feints, you know, sliding out, trying to mix his levels, use his eyes, and then boom! One of the best head kick knockouts we've seen in glory. Right off that exit, right hand, bang! I, I can't stop watching it, but it breaks my heart to see Kulabali go down at that, but man, that's one of the most beautiful head kicks oh. I've seen. Wow. And, you know, that's when a, a fighter can sometimes be their most vulnerable, when they think they're out of danger, have their heads down and their bodies relaxed. Yep, that's why you need to practice throwing them. So they're very important. Strike count, it was Mahadeen really with those punches, really trying to come in there and mix the levels. And it was Kulabali was all with the knees. Let's make it official, here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end with an official time of two minutes, 19 seconds of that third and final round and ends by knockout for your winner, Nadine Mahadi. Nordine, Nordine Mahadeen, come here for just a second. Congratulations on that win. You look like a different man in there tonight. Normally you're all loose and smiling, but tonight you seem like you had that eye of the tiger. Eye of the tiger. <laughs> First, I speak French, huh? Yeah, oui. Premièrement, je voudrais me faire pardonner devant Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. J'espère que Abdelrahman n'a rien. C'est le plus important, ça reste un sport. Ensuite, j'ai un message pour mes frères marocains. Allah, il est Qu'ils ont reçu un tremblement. Qu'ils ont reçu un tremblement. Qu'Allah leur fasse miséricorde, qu'ils facilitent leur famille, qu'ils leur apaisent leur peine. Congratulations on your win. Let me talk to your trainer here for a second. You asked this man to be a different animal tonight. You said he was just too nice. What did he show you? You know, I, uh, every time he comes from Asai to Holland, you know, and uh, he prepared himself. Uh, MSI and uh, he came four weeks before for his fight, you know, and uh, we talked about this topic and I told him, listen, you must live for this, you know, he has two uh, little children, the only what he have is this, you know, there are a lot of boys in Marsai, they don't have nothing and he can give uh, his children and the youth there a future. He, uh, we had a camp of three months, he did it very well and um, I'm, uh, I have a lot of respect for him, he's always humble, he worked very hard. And uh, he's an example for a lot of fighters. And um, I'm very proud of him. All right, and final question. I know you're very emotional right now, but you may have just scored the knockout of the year. Take us through that moment when you landed that perfect head kick. Yeah, see. Yeah, you see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have fait un beau combat tous les deux. Pour faire fait un beau combat, il faut être deux. Voilà, j'ai mis le coup qu'il fallait au moment qu'il fallait. Alhamdulillah, je suis content. Merci à tous de me supporter, de me soutenir. Et maintenant, 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 il faut que, 
for Glas Hansas. Congratulations, and let's give it up for Kula Bali, ladies and gentlemen. All right. What a fight, what an ending for Nordin Mahadeen, getting back in his ways in the heavyweight division. Looked fantastic, couldn't get a better ending than that, and we wish and hope Mr. Kulabali the best.